welcome friends in this video we are going to discuss the problem of csi in it, december 2019 problem of partial differential equation example a possible initial step x0 y0 z0 p0 q0 for cauchy problem pq equal to 1 where p equal to del z by del x q equal to del z by del y and x0 s is equal to s y0 s is equal to 1 upon s z0 s is equal to 1 for s greater than 1 is we have given four option first option s 1 upon s 1 1 upon s s second option s 1 upon s 1 minus 1 upon s minus s third option s 1 upon s 1 1 upon s minus s and the fourth option s 1 upon s 1 minus 1 upon s plus s so it is a cauchy problem so first we recall cauchy problem for the partial differential equation which is f of pq equal to k now its solution is z is equal to ax plus by plus c where f of ab equal to k so if we replace p equal to a and k equal to b then we'll get this condition f of ab equal to k now for the given example our problem is pq equal to 1 now therefore the corresponding solution is z is equal to ax plus by plus c where f of a b equal to p replaced by a and q replaced by b in the equation then we have a b equal to 1 if you make b as a subject of this equation b equal to 1 upon a then substitute that value here solution then our solution is z is equal to ax plus 1 upon a y plus c so this is solution of pq equal to 1 now we have again initial condition so initial conditions are x0 s is equal to s y0 s is equal to 1 upon s z0 s is equal to 1 now substitute that value in the solution that means x is equal to s y equal to 1 upon s and z is equal to 1 then we will have this equation 1 equal to a s plus 1 upon a 1 upon s plus c so using this equation we are going to find the value of a so for that take c on the other side 1 minus c equal to a s plus 1 upon a s now take lcm a s then we have simplified form a s 1 minus c a square s square plus 1 now if we take a s 1 minus c on the other side then we have a square s square minus a s 1 minus c plus 1 equal to 0 so it is a quadratic equation in a s now recall the solution for the quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 the solution is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a where b is a coefficient of x a and c are coefficient of x square and the constant of the equation respectively now for the given quadratic equation a s is equal to coefficient of a s is minus times 1 minus c therefore minus b equal to 1 minus c plus or minus b square so 1 minus c square minus 4 times a into c so a equal to 1 and c equal to 1 so minus 4 now simplify the square root we have c square minus 2c minus 3 we have factors of c square minus 2c minus 3 are the c minus 3 c plus 1 therefore a s is equal to 1 minus c plus or minus square root c minus 3 c plus 1 divided by 2 but we want value of constant a so therefore a equal to take s on the other side 1 minus c plus or minus square root c minus 3 c plus 1 divided by 2s but our solution is z is equal to ax plus 1 upon a y c where a equal to 1 minus c plus or minus square root c minus 3 c plus 1 divided by 2s here we want to find the value of x0 y0 z0 p0 q0 here x0 y0 z0 which is given s 1 upon s 1 p0 where p equal to del z by del x so find the value of p at x0 y0 z0 Similarly, find the value of q at 
x0, y0, z0. So now we are going to find the value of p0, q0. So p0 is equal to del z by del x at x0, y0, z0. So partial derivative of z with respect to x is a because when we are differentiating with respect to x, y is constant. So 1 upon a y constant and c is also constant. So this two value will be 0 and derivative of x with respect to x is a. So a x0, y0, z0 equal to a. This is constant. So a. Now q0 is equal to del z by del y at x0, y0, z0. So differentiate z with respect to y, we have 1 upon a and evaluate at x0, y0, z0, it is constant, so we have 1 upon a. So corresponding value of x0, y0, z0, p0, q0 is s1 upon s1, a1 upon. Now in a, c is arbitrary constant, so we can take any value of c. So if we take c is equal to minus 1, then we have 1 minus of minus 1 is plus 1, so we have 2 plus or minus c equal to minus 1 therefore c plus 1 will be 0 so this square root will be 0 so we have 2 divided by 2s so a equal to 1 upon s so first value is 1 upon s and a equal to 1 upon s so 1 upon a equal to s so it will give the first option which is s 1 upon s a 1 upon s s which is option number 1 and it is a correct now if we take c is equal to 3 then 1 minus 3 will be minus 2 and c minus 3 will be 0 so this square root term will be 0 so we have minus 2 divided by 2s so minus 1 upon s a equal to minus 1 upon s so 1 upon a equal to minus s and it will give the second option so first two options are correct the third and fourth option never never correct we cannot find the value of c because a and minus a has always the same sign here 1 upon s and minus s are in the opposite sign minus 1 upon s s are opposite sign so third and fourth option we cannot find for any value of c so this example has two options first and second are correct thanks for watching for more videos like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon of next gen mass.